It is Monday, July 27th, 2020, and this is your Three Gorgeous Dam update. Four articles have broken since yesterday's video, including Number Three Flood Strikes China's Three Gorgeous Dam. Also, courtesy of VietReader.com, China Massive Flood Updates, Yangtze River Hit by a Third Flood, Three Gorges Dam Suffers More Pressure. Next, courtesy of Bloomberg, China says worse of flooding still to come. The situation is severe. And last but not least, courtesy of South China Morning Post, China's worst floods in decades. Also, we have some new video playing in the background today. That is from a live stream taken from the Three Gorges Dam only hours ago. Let's get into it. And our first article of the day is courtesy of TaiwanNews.com. Number three flood strikes China's Three Gorges Dam. China announced that the third flood of the year hit the vaunted Three Gorges Dam on Sunday, July 26, and that it will peak on Tuesday, July 28. On Sunday, China's state-run mouthpiece Zenhu announced that the number three flood of the year had been declared for the embattled Three Gorges Dam. By 2 p.m., the dam's reservoir recorded an inflow of 50,000 cubic meters per second, and it's expected to peak at 60,000 cubic meters per second by Tuesday. Since Saturday evening, Yanshi County in Enshi Prefecture of Hubei Province has been battered by torrential rain. The county has reportedly already been drenched with 180 millimeters of rain. The heavy downpours have prompted local officials to raise the flood emergency from the second highest level to the top alert with some areas potentially seeing water levels climb to 560 millimeters. Official government statistics list five deaths and one person missing in Yanshi as of Sunday afternoon, with 160,000 across the county impacted by flooding. The article then goes on to talk about some of the same cities that we discussed in yesterday's video. Moving on, China's National Meteorological Center predicts torrential rains in sections of Chongqing, Guizhou, Guangxi, Hubei, Hunan, Yangtze, Anhu, and Yangsu. The NMC predicts that these provinces will see 180 millimeters in daily rainfall, with some areas experiencing up to 70 millimeters of rain per hour. Zinhu cited Minister of Water Resources Yi Jingping as saying that as the flood peaks, the volume of flood water discharged from the Three Gorges Dam must be finally adjusted. He added that efforts should be made to increase flood discharge in the Huei River, reduce the water level of Hongzi Lake and Lake Tai, and prepare for possible deluges. Water levels on Lake Tai, which sits on the border of Yangsu and Zhejiang, have surpassed safe limits for nine days in a row. According to the Ministry of Water Resources, the middle and lower reaches of the Yangtze River below the city of Sishu have also surpassed safe limits. Given that the Three Gorges Dam is upstream of Lake Tai and Shishu, it is another instance in which the dam has failed to live up to its purported purpose of flood control. And our next article of the day comes courtesy of Vietreader.com. China, massive flood updates. Yangtze River hit by a third flood. Three Gorges Dam suffers more pressure. Since Saturday, torrential rain has wreaked havoc across Yanshi County in Enshi Prefecture of central China's Hubei Province. The county has been overwhelmed after steady rainfall reached almost 180 millimeters. On the lake's eastern edge in Yangtze province, 45-year-old Zhu Yang Zhang told SCMP that his village of Lufang had been without running water or electricity for almost a week. Although it was time for the rice harvest, that crop along with the cotton, corn, and beans was now underwater. We do not have one inch of dry ground. It has all been flooded. Zhu, who sells pork for a living, was quoted as saying on the official newspaper China Youth Daily's microblog. Floods have caused two deaths and left three people missing in Yanshi as of Sunday. Residents living along the river have been urged to evacuate and stay away from the riverbank. And with so many acres of China's farmland flooded, there could be another disaster on the horizon. Moving on with the article. Local authorities on Sunday morning raised the flood emergency response from the second highest to the top alert, warning that water levels in the hardest hit areas could be over 560 millimeters. Torrential rains are expected in parts of Changqing, Guangzhou, Hubei, Hunan, Yangtze, Anhu, and Yangsu, and warning that some areas would experience up to 7 inches of daily rainfall, which we touched on briefly yesterday. The article then touches on the renewed pressure on the Three Gorges Dam. Moving on. 
The rains are putting renewed pressure on the massive Three Gorges Dam that straddles the river upstream of the central city of Wuhan in Hubei province. The high water levels on the Yangtze, Hawaii River, and Lake Tai have lasted for a long time, and there is growing pressure on flood defenses, the ministry was quoted by SCMP as saying. At 2 p.m. on Sunday, the reservoir reported a maximum inflow of 50,000 cubic meters per second, which is expected to reach 60,000 cubic meters per second by Sunday night. And both articles have given us conflicting information as to when the 60,000 cubic meters would be flowing through the dam. The first article stated it would be on Tuesday, while the second said Sunday. I just wanted to point that out before we move along. The Changjiang Water Resources Commission, which is responsible for the Yangtze Basin, also issued a warning about rapidly increasing water levels upstream and in the Three Gorges Reservoir. The Three Gorges Dam, which spans Asia's longest river, was built mainly to generate electricity. But the Chinese government also said it was expected to mitigate catastrophic flooding. According to state news agency Xinhu, since July, flooding has affected 23.8 million people in 24 provinces. A total of 31 people are reported missing or dead, and more than 2 million people had to be relocated. The economic losses are estimated to be about 64.4 billion yuan, that's 9 billion US dollars. Thank you for watching this video. If you are finding it informative, please consider giving the channel a subscribe. Now on to our next article, courtesy of Bloomberg. China says worst of flooding still to come. The situation is severe. China warned that the worst of the deluges that have led millions to be evacuated may be yet to come after a third wave of floods formed in the upper reaches of the Yangtze River on Sunday. The flood control and flood fighting situation is severe, China's Water Resource Ministry said in a statement. Authorities ordered the Three Gorges Reservoir to save its water storing capacity in preparation for more flows, and forecast another three days of torrential rain in the southern region. China's south has been battered by severe floods after water levels reached records. More than 2 million people have been evacuated this month along the Yangtze River, Asia's longest, with 142 dead or missing since the flooding began in June. The reservoir level was at about 159.46 meters as of Monday, down from the 164.18 meters about a week ago. Its maximum capacity is 175 meters. And our final article of the day comes courtesy of the South China Morning Post. China's worst floods in decades. Heavy rains are putting the Yangtze River at risk of repeating the devastating floods of 1998, which left more than 4,000 people dead and 14 million homeless. The latest natural disaster comes in the wake of a pandemic and an escalating trade war with the U.S. The Yangtze River is the longest river in Asia and China's most important waterway, with some 175 cities located near its banks. As well as being home to a number of multinational companies, the prosperous Yangtze River Basin is a powerhouse of industrial output, generating nearly half of the country's GDP. The middle and lower reaches of the river are vulnerable to flooding, spilling over their banks every summer. By contrast, the upper river basin flows through mountainous regions, and the steep slope of the riverbed makes it far less prone to floods. Floods large enough to overflow the dikes have caused several disasters in the past. Discounting famines and pandemics, the 1931 Central China floods are generally considered the deadliest natural disaster of the 20th century. More than 140,000 people drowned, with at least 3.7 million dying over the nine months that followed. Until the Three Gorges Dam project was completed in 2009, provinces along the river mainly relied on reinforced embankments, reservoirs, and flood storage areas to control flooding. Less than 20 years after the dam's completion, China is experiencing its worst flooding in decades, raising questions about the dam's efficiency and whether the massive structure itself is at risk after weeks of devastating floods since June. Intense rain and severe flooding has been battering China since early June. But according to the China Meteorological Administration, the country has experienced a 20% increase in heavy rainfall since 1961. Currently, the water level of 433 rivers is above the flood control line, with 33 of them reaching record highs. Poyang Lake, China's largest freshwater lake located in the eastern province of Yangtze, saw its water level rise to 22.6 meters by July 13th, its highest level on record, surpassing its previous record of 22.52 meters in 1998. The NASA satellite images in the background show the lake's recent extremes of low and high levels. The lake usually shrinks considerably in the winter. The chief forecaster at the National Climate Center attributed the intense rainfall this year to the Eastern Asia rainy season, or Mayu, literally plum rain as it's known in China. 
It started a week earlier than previous years with higher than usual intensity. The plum rain, which usually starts in June and can last until August, is the result of a weather front that forms as moist air from the Pacific Ocean meets the cooler continental air mass. The front moves back and forth depending on the strength of cool and warm air masses, causing prolonged precipitation that results in the Yangtze breaking its banks. It ends when the warm air mass is strong enough to push the front to the north and away. Why is it called plum rain? The combination of high humidity, heat, and rain might turn your clothes, homes, and food moldy, but it provides the perfect weather for a prosperous plum harvest. People also call the plum rain season the moldy rain season because the Chinese words for mold and plum sound the same. And I think that's a good place to wrap up today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you found it informative and check back soon for more content. <laughs>